Here's your weather video for this Sunday, February the 21st. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray, and it was 50 years ago today that a major outbreak of tornadoes killed 121 people across Louisiana, Mississippi, Tennessee. Most of the deaths coming from just three long track tornadoes that crossed the Mississippi Delta County tornado, Mississippi Delta counties um, during the um, afternoon hours that day. It was just a terrible day and an outbreak that uh, doesn't um, get a lot of attention. Um, but uh, it happened just across uh, the state line in Mississippi on this date 50 years ago today. I'll have a special write up on it on the blog um, around 9 30 today. Um, severe Weather Awareness Week in Alabama this week. Of course, Alabama beset with um, severe thunderstorms, tornadoes, flooding, lightning, hail, um, flooding, all of the above um, for much of the year. And uh, we set aside this week every year to talk about uh, how you can prepare your family, your business, uh, your organization for severe weather. Lots of information on the National Weather Service uh, website uh, for here in Birmingham, also in Huntsville, Mobile, the National Weather Service in Tallahassee, the four weather service offices that cover our state. Scott Martin will have great posts all week, so uh, stay tuned for those. You'll want to read those carefully and um, assess your personal safety plan uh, in light of that information, particularly if you live in mobile or manufactured uh, homes across our state. Um, GFS this morning, uh, taking a look at the upper air pattern, showing a big trough of uh, low pressure uh, swinging out of the Rockies into the plains. It's going to affect our weather tonight. Right now, a ridge of high pressure over the state and give us a decent start to the day. High pressure at the surface centered over West Virginia will sort of coalesce and uh, center its uh, activities to our southeast. That will allow a, a nice southerly breeze to set up uh, early this morning. You'll see gusty winds beginning uh, by 7, 8, 9 o'clock uh, as um, that uh, circulation begins to pump warmer and uh, slightly moist air into Alabama. Uh, we'll top out today in the middle and upper 50s over north Alabama, uh, rising to near 60 along I-20, upper or lower 60s to the south over south central Alabama. Most of the day, robin egg, blue sky, um, you know, just a beautiful day. Uh, but we will see clouds increasing by... Um, Mid to late afternoon as that uh, uh, surface trough begins to approach our area and a cold front moves into Alabama. This is the uh, HRRR showing cloudiness by 6 p.m. tonight. You can see it beginning to overspread the area. It'll become completely cloudy by uh, early this evening. And um, by midnight tonight, uh, showers will be forming basically in three areas uh, across uh, Alabama. Over south, well, really over the states adjacent to and including Alabama, southeastern Alabama, a few showers developing in that warm advection pattern, uh, sort of a prefrontal trough uh, entering northwest Alabama at that point. We'll see showers places like uh, Hamilton, Muscle Shoals, up into uh, Lawrence and Limestone counties. The main front will be crossing uh, the Mississippi River near Memphis at that time with the primary band of showers. And these three areas will be working across the state during the night. This is uh, 6 a.m. showing uh, showers uh, pretty much in all areas of the state. That main front already into northwest Alabama at that point. And um, showers uh, will be uh, a pretty good bet off and on through the overnight hours into the early morning hours on Monday. You can see the effect of the front beginning to uh, arrive here by 6 a.m. on Monday on the HRRR. Temperatures already dropping to the 40s in northwest Alabama. Most of us dropping only into the lower 50s overnight uh, tonight. Most of those showers are out of Alabama by noon on, um, on Monday. This is the HRRR for 11 a.m. showing a few lingering showers in eastern Alabama, most of the area uh, out, of the, uh, out of the rain at that point. We'll see uh, some clearing skies by afternoon. Uh, readings uh, topping out in the middle and upper 50s. Uh, Monday night lows will drop uh, to near freezing, uh, under uh, below freezing above uh, above I-20, with uh, readings in the lower and middle 30s uh, across south central Alabama. And um, Tuesday looks like it will be a beautiful day. Uh, high pressure in charge, uh, sunshine returning will be uh, to upper 50s to lower 60s across much of the area during the day. But it should be an absolutely beautiful day. Wednesday, another uh, system approaching. You can see the low pressure there uh, east of Detroit. 
uh, with a uh, trailing cold front back through Missouri. And this uh, front will approach Alabama Wednesday night and uh, into Thursday. We could see an overnight shower Wednesday night. Small chance of a morning shower on Thursday. But a better chance coming Thursday night as, an, as the front sort of hangs out over Alabama and another wave uh, moves into our state. This is that uh, early morning after midnight, Wednesday night, early Thursday morning activity. Uh, and I'll kind of jump ahead here to noon, showing that we're basically free of showers. But I think um, jumping ahead to Friday sort of hides what's going to happen here. It looks like that wave develops Thursday night. Uh, rain more widespread moves into Alabama. And the more recent runs of the GFS show us wet late Thursday night and Friday. So I would you know, put a little grain of uncertainty there into the forecast for that period. Uh, but while this run uh, was showing, uh, you know, a nice day with high pressure building in, looks like Friday could have uh, a decent amount of rain still in Alabama. Saturday looks like uh, we'll be into um, some clearing skies uh, with a dry start, but some showers uh, will edge in late in the day. As you see here on this uh, depiction, this is the GFS for 6 p.m. on Saturday night, uh, showing our next disturbance moving our way. And uh, more showers moving into West Alabama at that point. Uh, this is Sunday off the GFS, showing noon, uh, a few showers still hanging around. And then a more widespread area of rain and uh, maybe a thunderstorm, but uh, possibly just rain. Uh, although you can see some of uh, wintry precipitation work its way into West Tennessee, Northeast Mississippi at that point. And uh, the 18Z run of the GFS yesterday Look quite shocking. Uh, really buying into the concept of a March coming in like a lion with a good bit of snow for the northern half of Alabama. Now, that disappeared on the overnight run, uh, thankfully. And um, certainly this looks like an outlier. But that's something we got to keep an eye on because you just never know. Because March uh, sometimes does tend to come in like a lion. This is uh, out of the end of the forecast period. This is Monday, March the 8th, uh, showing... Uh, uh, an occluded low pressure system there over southwestern Minnesota with a uh, big uh, frontal system stretching its way back to the Mississippi River Valley. Showers and thunderstorms moving into Alabama. Temperatures off the uh, national blend of models for the uh, next two weeks uh, showing uh, some pretty comfortable readings. Tuesday and Wednesday in the 60s, dropping back into the 50s, then making another run at the lower 60s uh, by next weekend. And uh, sort of hanging around there. Lows 30s and 40s, but uh, the uh, National Blend of Models not looking at really any uh, freezing temperatures except maybe for Tuesday morning um, and, and possibly flirting with it again by Friday morning. But um, as you can see, 30s and 40s generally uh, for the lows. This is a uh, seven day precipitation uh, from the Weather Prediction Center showing uh, generally around uh, one half to three quarters of an inch of rain across Alabama. No severe weather. Uh, at least in the next 10 days, uh, showing up in the forecast. Looking forward to special weather brains. Uh, tomorrow morning, we'll uh, join, uh, or we will be joined by National Hurricane Center Director Ken Graham, uh, who will be talking to the crew at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. Uh, special, a special show time and a special guest for Weather Brains, the longest running podcast about weather. Well, that's your uh, weather video for this Sunday, the 21st of February. I'll have notes on the blog, forecast update coming up at noon. We'll be uh, watching all the timing and uh, uh, uncertainty involved in these systems coming up uh, for the remainder of the week. Uh, of course, James will be here back with two days all week this week. Scott will be back here next Saturday. I get to sit here next Sunday. And until I see you here again, as I always tell you, keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at.